Hello everybody and welcome to Pokemon the Movie 21 The Power of Us slash Everybody's Story or whatever it's called in Japanese. Uh, the review. Uh, I saw it y uh, yesterday or today, whatever day it was. Uh, and uh, it's alright, is my <laughs> is by very in-depth review. It is a solid alright. So, I guess the first thing to note, uh, soundtrack, top notch. Really like it. It was good. It was good. Um, other thing to note that's, before I go in depth on the plot or anything, I'm not going to give away spoilers at the beginning, I'll do that at the end, but, uh, there's a bunch of new characters and for the most part they're like character arts, uh, arcs are very good, they're, they're good and enjoyable, which is something you kind of need, however, I do think maybe they tried to do a little bit too much with too many characters, so, you know, some things weren't as flushed out as they could be. That's another thing to kind of note about this movie is I didn't really feel like it felt like a movie if that makes sense like it felt like an arc from a TV series because there was no big big fight you know in like every other Pokemon movie they've ended things but like, there's a big fight usually involving a legendary uh, except maybe last year's uh, I Choose You that was more, more similar to this in the case that it was kind of like it felt more like a its own story as opposed to like you know, the, uh, the is all revolving around a big fight at the end, essentially, and of rev revolving around a legendary. This was more like, hey, here's all these different people doing different things, and uh, it was it was interesting. What else is there to know about the movie with before the spoilers? Oh, right, uh, bad CG everywhere. I just I, it was really distracting all the bad CG. So uh, yeah, be be aware of that. Also, animation mostly looked good, but there were... I don't know if it was just because I saw it in the, the cinema with the big screen. So I don't know if it was just that, uh, you know, it looked... The animation didn't look as good because it was on such a big screen. But that is also, you know, something to note. It There were some scenes where it just didn't... Didn't look too good, but mostly, mostly fine. Um, let's see. So there are two legendaries in this movie. There's Zeraora and Lugia, technically. And uh, they, they just they do feel kind of shoehorned into the movie. I think I'm not going to really give much away of what they do, but they don't really. The, the, the movie could have been without them, and it wouldn't have changed too much. So, yeah, of the new characters, uh, Callahan I think like was done quite well. Whereas Risa, we don't really get. You know, she could have been done a lot better. In, in just the two that I want to, when I get to spoilers, I'll talk about it more. You know, which I think... So, this little quick section, talking about the movie, without spoilers, is done now. I think I would give it maybe a 6 out of 10 on, you know, if, what's the best Pokemon movie? I think it was Manaphy is my favourite, so that's a 10. Deancey can be a 1. This is probably around a 6. I Choose, I choose You maybe a 7. It's not as good as I Choose You, this one, in my opinion. So, if you're leaving now because you don't want to be spoiled, uh, you know, bye. But, uh, right, spoilers. So, essentially, there is... Zeraora is just a Pokemon, essentially. It's not like a god Pokemon. The, the town that they're in needs wind, which Lugia gives them every year at this festival. And Zeraora lives in the forest, and he hates humans because they cut down the forest, which is, you know, makes sense. And, uh... Uh, you know, it wasn't, it's not the most, we've seen it before, haven't we? We've seen this plotline a lot over Pokemon, the series, and the movies, it's happened a lot. So, there is, you know, it's that's not the most interesting thing. Like I said, the best thing about this movie is the characters. Also, thing to note, the amount of times they said either Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee in this movie. Uh, yeah, it's almost as if new games have just come out with those titles. But, you know, that could just be my imagination. Uh, Callahan's story arc was done very well. Like, he's a liar. Basically, he lies to his niece, but then he, at the end, he has to, you know, man up and save save them from the exploding... That's the thing, yeah, the threat isn't even a Pokemon. It's just, like, an exploding, like, science experiment, basically. Puts everyone to sleep. Team Rocket almost do something good when they steal it, and I was like, oh man, they're actually doing something. But then, um, 
it, they, they drop it, basically, and it explodes. Which is just, you know. Uh, Margo is the, the little girl, and she's like... She's the one looking after Zero Aura. And she... I don't really... Get, her story plot is basically trying to make up to, Zor to Zero Aura on her own. But everybody else eventually comes to hell. Uh, Torin is the scientist. I'm just going to go over all this. His, like, arc is that he's shy, but then he, um, you know, he's shy, but then he's, by the end, he's like, he's kind of more confident, and he's got to lead the scientists to deal with the threat. Uh, Harriet is an old woman who hates Pokemon, and her reason, well, hates Pokemon in quotes, her reason is that a Pokemon sacrificed itself to save her, and didn't we have this last year, kind of? But didn't a Pokemon die to save a human in last year's movie? Because I'm pretty sure that that's what happened. Uh, Reese's story, I didn't really get it. She, like, utterly refused to catch Pokemon at the beginning, and we didn't really get a reason for that. But then she does catch Pokemon. It's an Eevee, because, you know. Also, her design, I just don't understand why it's so so out there like it's fine there's nothing wrong with it but it just seems like there's a lot to it for like compared to everyone else but uh i guess i guess it's fine uh also she has a little brother who's in the hospital who is also the star of the most odd oddly placed scenes in the whole sure movie spoiler in the post credit scenes revealed he's like this like not a dj he's like a host of like a news channel and uh yeah it's it's pretty weird. I was like, oh, didn't see that coming. Mainly because I didn't really care about the news channel. I thought it was kind of like, a, didn't really like that it was there, but I guess it made sense afterwards. Or they explain like, hey, might have left a plot hole. Let's fix it up, which I guess is fine. So, yeah, this movie, uh, it was, it was different. I kind of do like the differentness of, you know, this and I choose you compared to like all the other movies. All the other movies are kind of formulaic. These are kind of different. Which I do like, but yeah, 6 out of 10 is what I'd give this. Also, I haven't even mentioned Ash yet, he's also there. It, like, it's not really about him, this movie. It's He's just kind of there because he's the face of Pokemon, essentially. Even though he does give, you know, an inspirational speech, Pokemon power. And then everyone, like, comes together. Which is, you know, it's basically what you expect from a Pokemon movie. And it's not, it's not bad. I, I enjoyed it. I did enjoy it, but it was, it's not the best, it's definitely not the worst, so if you like Pokemon, go see it. Uh, Alright, well that's everything, I think. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more reviews of anime and other good stuff, and uh, leave what you thought of the movie in the comments, and I will see you in the next video you decide to watch. Bye everyone.